Mark, happy Thursday. Um, a few days on from South End now, looking back at the at the draw, what, how have you how have you taken a point away from Saturday? Uh, yeah, I thought we played really well. Boys were really good, worked really hard, created some really good chances, committed. I think you saw from the reaction of the crowd and the atmosphere, um, you don't get that if the players are not at it. And um, yeah, I thought we deserved to win the game. Uh, and if we keep playing like that, performances are a big indicator of of what's to come. I think if you're if you're scraping one nil well, wins and not playing very well, it's only one thing's going to happen, mm. and that's going to you start losing games. But if you're performing like we we are at the minute, and um, with the spirit they have and the commitment, then we can go and win lots of games. Dylan came back and had a had an immediate impact. Were you pleased with what you saw from him? Yeah, it's like there's a there's a massive why we get rid of Dylan and he wasn't fit. He missed two three weeks in pre season and like I said at the time, the plan was to look after Dill, get him fit, score some goals, playing a good team. He did that, came back, and we put him straight in the team. So sometimes when you haven't got a reserve team or that's the only way you can get the players back up to speed when they've had an injury. And he's feeling confident as well. Well, I'm sure he is. He's been to Western, scored some goals, won some games, put him straight back in the team, and uh, and he had a decent game. And in terms of uh, a debut for Plant as well, what did you make of him? I think I said last week that I was happy with the players I'd got, and I wasn't going to go and sign any Tom, Dick, or Harry. And you know, I've expressed that to the players, but when I when a chance to get a player of James's quality at our level comes available, you have to try and have to try and get him. And uh, we've been chasing him for a long time, and uh, and we got the got the nod that we could do it. And uh, I think he showed in his in his second half in the performance what a, what an asset he can be. You know, with another young one, Kieran, at the top of the pitch, who who was very very good and scored a great goal and and set two brilliant chances up for, for the other two forwards. For people who don't know James as well as you do from studying him, what do you hope he will bring to the squad and in terms of going forward? He pace and he carries the ball. The the other wide players we've got are uh, little intricate players and whereas he's more of a runner, you know, when he complements the other ones we've got, he's quick, both footed. Play on the right, play on the left, play right wing, left wing, left back, right back, wing back, both sides. So, great acquisition. Mm. In terms of, before we get on to Dagenham, in terms of your injury list, I'm guessing there's still a few players who won't be available for this weekend. Harvey getting any closer to coming back to first team? Yeah, Harvey's trained all week. Um, so, yeah, he's um, slowly but surely, he's still a bit sore, but he's trained. Um, and I think when you've had a knock like that, it's more psychological and he's probably worrying about doing it again um, so yeah we just uh, monitor that for the rest of the week and Alex Whittle Alex Whittle similar to Harvey bang on his shoulder um, came off at half time so uh, we're monitoring that one as well and um, Ari, I know Raf got a goal for Bristol City under 21s and, and looked good in that are you hopeful that he'll be back and available soon yeah I was at the game um, so Raf's been back in with us now trained trained with us after the game on Monday um, so yeah, Raf's in contention for for the weekend. It must feel quite good for you as a manager as well, having that squad that you went through that period where you had multiple injuries mm. and you got through it. Going back now, you, it looks like you've got more options. Yeah, uh, injuries are a part of it. We never we never grumble too much about that. It's you're going to lose players through a season with injury, and we've been you know short on numbers, but now we're starting to get people back. Obviously, we managed to get. Uh, James in, which gives us another body. Dylan's come back, got Raf back, Harvey's on the way back, so it's starting to look a lot more healthier with the cup competitions to come as well. I said Dagenham obviously played in the in the cup this week. Do you think that will have any bearing on, on what the side they put out this weekend or do you think they probably would have moved things around quite a lot in the week? Yeah, they, they changed quite a lot of their team, but they managed to obviously give minutes for boys that were needed it. Some of the starters played, but don't read we the game is what it is. We we don't expect them to be any weaker or any stronger for it. They'll be 
a tough team to play against. So on their day this season, they've proved some pretty big results. Obviously beating Gateshead 7-1, they beat Sutton 3-0, so they're, they're more than capable of getting goals. What have you made of, of them so far this season? Because you've obviously faced them a few times as a manager as well. Mm. Yeah, got some good, experienced players, you know. Um, difficult team on their day, they can cause problems. You know, the Junior Marais and Josh Irma are, are, you know, a handful at this level and... Um, I just know that we have to play well to win a game. You have to usually you have to play well, and we have to play like we did last Saturday. If we play like we did last Saturday, we have a big chance to win the game. And in terms of you mentioned before, the atmosphere was was much better last week because the, the, the fans really really got on side. How key is it to carry that through into into the home game on Saturday? I think it just shows you how big a part supporters have to play. I think it was the previous game where it didn't really get behind us. Um, Compared to last Saturday, there for the whole game they were with us, and you saw the reaction. The players kept going and kept going, creating chances, and it was ten out of ten, well nine out of ten from the fans for me on um, on Saturday. They were they were really good. How much would it mean to you to to break the, the winless duct on on Saturday? Just another game. Listen, there's, there's a you can't win every week. There's two teams, and you go through periods where you don't win some games. It's I think it's your your you guys' job to make a, a thing out of it and it's my job to just keep trying to get the team to to get performances and if we do that and the the wins will come. It's but we're still picking up points, that's the main thing. Well good luck for Saturday. Thank you.